So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in proxy settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, where it says use a proxy server, you're gonna click on setup. Make sure that you have it turned off and then click on save. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in VPN settings. Click on it. And then do the same thing. If you have an active VPN connection set up right now, you're gonna turn it off. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Then you're gonna type in NETSH space windsock space reset and click on enter again. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter, you're gonna double click on it, and then click on properties, and then click on internet protocol version four. Double click on this. You're gonna make sure they have obtain a DNS server just automatically selected, and obtain IP address automatically also selected, and then click on okay. And now for the next step, if you're using Netflix, then you wanna head over to search and type in wsreset.exe. Click on it. This will reset the Microsoft store. And then you wanna head over to search again and type in Netflix. You wanna right click on it, and then click on app settings, scroll down, and then click on terminate, and then click on repair. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in network reset. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on reset now, and then click on yes. It's now gonna restart your computer automatically, or you can just restart it yourself, and then the problem should be fixed. 